Hi everyone, Max here and welcome back for the second part of this dedicated streaming and recording PC build. In this video I'm going to check the cooling capabilities and the noise level of this system. To do that I'm running a stress test in the CPU and the GPU. In this case we have 16 threads at 100% and the GPU is more or less from 30 to 50% because with the CPU stressed there's not enough power to make the GPU reach 100% of utilization. But considering that is a very unrealistic situation, this is way past the worst case scenario. As you can see in the image in the top right corner, I've placed a thermal probe inside the CPU cooler, which is now at 38 degrees, 39 degrees. Thanks to the strong VRM section of this board, the Gigabyte uh, Aorus Gaming 7 X470, we have 65 degrees in the VRM, which is very low considering that the stress test is more than 2 days, 10 hours that is running. The CPU is at 76 degrees, and again, pretty impressive since we have uh, both the CPU and the GPU under stress test. Now I'm going to check the chassis with this thermographic camera. The studio is more or less at 22-23 degrees. The hottest part of the chassis is of course in the back. We have around 30 degrees. Here in the ventilation we have more or less 38 degrees, which is the same temp that we have inside the CPU cooler. On the exhaust fan we are at 42, 43. If we go down to the PSU we have more or less 50 degrees, 55, 57 which is more than okay. I forgot to mention that I'm using the integrated fan controller, which is here, and there's three positions, one, two, and three. One is the lowest, and actually is two days that is running with the lowest speed of the fans. So again, I'm very impressed by the cooling of this chassis, the Dark Base 601 from Be Quiet, and I think that now, we can say that it's rock solid, it's very stable, and the cooling is more than enough, even under an unrealistic load. Now it's time to talk about noise level. If you didn't notice, since the beginning of this video, the CPU cooler is running at 100%, and the microphone is just right there, it's a shotgun microphone. It really picks up everything. Just hear this. The click of a mouse, so the fan is quiet. I mean, I can hear it, but it's quiet. It doesn't bother me. And now we are going to do a very quick and interesting test. I'm going to stop talking and then you can turn up the volume a bit and I shut down the stress test so you can hear the difference. Then I will put a message right here when you have to turn down the volume again.
Now the CPU cooler is running more or less at 800 RPM and trust me I, I can hear it, I can hear the machine that is under the desk but this one is completely silent. Now I'm going to set the fan speed to the maximum and I will wait a bit that the system cool down properly and then we can move on to the next part which is the GPU. Now that the system have reached the minimum temp level I'm going to start the GPU stress test. After 35 minutes the GPU is sitting stable at 82 degrees with the fan spinning at 83%. You can hear the fan of the GPU, but the chassis is doing a good job with the foam panel on the side that removes the high-pitched sound of the fan. But now, let's try a real game, because this test usually is uh, a bit overkill. Now I'm playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, 1080p, so Full HD, everything maxed out, and we are rocking 100 FPS. No signs of throttling. Well, I'm actually I'm boosting almost to 1900 MHz. CPU at 60 degrees, GPU at 82 degrees. Pretty nice. Now let's see what happens if I stream and play at the same time. Now I'm recording the game in 4K, very high quality. It seems that we have lost more or less 20%, 15 to 25. But at the end, to play in Full HD, we have 74 FPS, 80 FPS, more than enough. So yes, we can play and record at the same time. Now I'm streaming and recording at the same time. Again, we are losing 25 to 30 percent. Keep in mind that I'm pushing the GPU at 100 percent. Yes, it's still very playable. Now in the same spot we are losing, yes, 25% streaming and recording in 4K at the same time. But the real purpose of this build is this one, recording a 4K video 60fps without any frame drop and total silence. And I think we have a mission accomplished here. If you look at the CPU, we have 45 degrees, the fan is at the minimum and the GPU is at 46 degrees and as well the fan is completely silent. Alright, in conclusion I'm very happy with this build. It does exactly what I need and exactly what I want. And now with this powerful tool I have more free time. That means I can create more content and do live streams. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this and as well you can follow me on Twitch that I'm going to start very soon to do some live streams like uh, Extreme Overclocking, World of Warcraft Benchmark and many other things more. So, for now is all and see you in the next one.